and I will be performing Sonnet 147, followed by a reading of Iago from Othello, and then a monologue as the jailer's daughter from the two noble kinsmen. My love is as a fever, longing still for that which longer nurseth the disease, feeding on that which doth preserve the ill, than certain sickly appetite to please. My reason, the physician to my love, angry that his prescriptions are not kept, hath left me. And I, desperate, now approve desire is death, which physic did accept. Past cure I am, now reason is past care, and frantic mad with evermore unrest my thoughts and my discourse as madmen's are. At random from the truth vainly expressed. For I have sworn thee fair, and thought thee bright, who art as black as hell, as dark as night. I hate the moor. And it is thought abroad that twixt my sheets has done my office. I know not if it be true, but I, for mere suspicion in that kind, will do as if, for surety. He holds me well. The better shall my purpose work on him. <coughs> Cassio's a proper man. Let me see now to get his place and to plume up my will in double knavery. How? How? Let's see. After some time, to abuse Othello's ear that he is too familiar with his wife, he hath a person and a smooth disposed to be suspected, framed to make women false. The war, the moor is of a free and open nature that thinks men honest, that but seem to be so, and will as tenderly be led by the nose as asses are. I have it. It is engendered. Hell and night must bring this monstrous birth to the world's light. <clears throat> and then I loved him, extremely loved him, infinitely loved him. And yet he had a cousin. <laughs> Fair as he too. Oh, but in my heart was Palamon. And there, Lord, what a coil he keeps. <coughs> to hear him sing in an evening. Oh, what a heaven it is. And yet his songs are sad ones. Fairer spoken was never a gentleman. When I come bring him water in the morning, first he bows his noble body, then salutes me thus. Fair gentle maid, good morrow. <laughs> May thy goodness get thee a happy husband. Once he kissed me. <laughs> I love my lips the better ten days after. What that he would do so every day? <laughs> he grieves much. And me as much to see his misery. Oh, what should I do to make him know I love him? For I would fain. Enjoy him. <laughs> <laughs> Say I ventured to set him free. What says the law then? Oh, thus 
not for law and kindred, I shall do it. And on this night, or tomorrow, he shall love me. <laughs>